If you're a fan of Mexican street corn, then you're going to want to try this recipe. You're going to love it, I promise, because my family and I sure did. So to start off with, I'm going to make a marinade for chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast if you want. I prefer to use chicken thighs tonight. So I have olive oil. I have a couple teaspoons of garlic that was frozen and I defrosted it in the microwave really quick. And then soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce. I will link these, this recipe in the description box plus some lemon zest. Being careful not to go too far down because we don't want to get the bitter white pith. And then a couple tablespoons of, or a whole lemon, a whole lemon juice. <laughs> and I use this strainer to catch all the seeds. We don't want that in our marinade. Very good. Add just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm going to put in four chicken thighs and these will sit in the marinade for, I, I did 45 minutes to an hour, and it was good. I really love chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast if you want. I think I said that already. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I love chicken thighs. They're my favorite. So I wanted to use those. Plus, they're really good grilled, so... Anywho, I'm just putting the thighs in the pan, the little dish here with the marinade. This this marinade for the chicken is in the same recipe as the chicken rice bowl. So just so you know, it's in there. And then I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for, you know, like I said, up to an hour. No biggie. Okay, and then to go along, I'm going to make, I have some jasmine rice here and some quinoa for my husband. And then, um, so this recipe um, instructions are to grill like four ears of corn, so you get about two cups. But I didn't want to do that tonight. It's really, 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 really hot outside and I didn't want to sit in front of a hot grill. So, I decided to get a bag of frozen white corn. This is pretty sweet corn. It's bird's eye. And I wanted to instead saute it and see if I could get some of those charred, you know, burnt bits that you would get on the grill. So, I just have a little olive oil in the pan here along with some more garlic and some salt and some pepper. I did some tahini. Some sumac. I'm really, really enjoying the sumac in this corn casserole. I mean, corn, Mexican street corn. <clears throat> so this is smoked paprika. I'm trying to help help along the smoked effect without actually going on the grill with the corn. So I think I kind of achieved it. So anyway, a little cumin because cumin is smoky too. And then in that smaller pan in the back there, I'm making some black beans. You can put any toppings you want on this rice bowl, by the way. I just wanted to do a little black beans to kind of bump up the protein and the fiber content and just to make it a little bit more filling. I'm really enjoying black beans lately. <clears throat> they're, they're really versatile and you can add them to a lot of different things. So tahine, love, love, love tahine. We're besties, okay? I love tahine. Like, they, it comes with me everywhere, like, to make a dinner. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Anyway, I'm just sorry. I just love tahine. But anyway, I'm just sauteing this corn. Or you could use canned corn if you wanted. Just really, really drain it well. Make sure you get enough of that water off as you can. You don't, we don't want watery corn here. So that's just a little bit of frozen garlic. There, I'm adding a little olive oil to the top of that just to kind of help, help it break down and thaw. The frozen garlic is what, from a few videos ago, I showed how to um, process corn, I mean um, garlic, to, you know, if garlic is going bad too fast, like 
you could process it and freeze it in little ice cube trays and then you have it ready for you anytime you need garlic. And I have really, really been liking this, that little hack. I mean, it's just worked really well for me. So I really, I highly, um, you know, uh, suggest that you try that. So as you could see in that, that um, clip before with the corn, that I was indeed getting those nice, charred bits on the corn and that's exactly what I was looking for I was really happy about it so now we're going on to the corn salad of the recipe so a third cup mayo and then this is optional I just decided to throw in a little bit of sour cream because I love sour cream and I really like it in there so I defrosted another couple cubes of garlic and I'm throwing those in just for like 30 seconds in the microwave that's all it takes and then I'm gonna throw in some lime zest and the juice from this lime also. Trying not to go too far down to the pith again because it's bitter and it's no good in there. This, I mean, this is really good. This really kind of impressed me. Um, I thought maybe it would be too dry with the rice, you know, cause sometimes you need, the, the rice needs some extra butter or, you know, soy sauce or something sometimes because it can get kind of dry. But this corn salad was um, moist enough to coat the rice and it was, it was good. I'm going to definitely make this again. This is my first time making this, by the way. So I'm adding some paprika in with the mayo and sour cream just to make sure this is seasoned really well. A little bit of chili powder, not too much. It's easy to overdo chili powder, but just a little bit here. You can measure out everything if you want. I'm not, I just like to eyeball it. And I'm just getting my whisk to incorporate the garlic and everything, make it all friends and besties. <laughs> um, anywho. <sighs> so I hope everybody's having a great summer. I hope things are going well for everybody. We just got back from a trip, so I'm just kind of ready to get some more videos done for you guys. So um, the recipe called for feta cheese. I was um, somewhat um, surprised and... I love feta cheese, so I was kind of happy that this was an ingredient in this street corn uh, salad. I want to say casserole. I did that before, and I just want to keep calling it that, but it's that's not what this is. That's not what this is. So I'm just crumbling up some feta cheese. I found this at the store today, and I'm just going to mush it all together, mush it up, and then I'm going to throw it in to the bowl everything else this is just going to give it a nice salty tang too i absolutely love feta cheese i don't know about you guys but i love it and you know also queso fresco i'm going to crumble that in also it's a really mild cheese and it's going to go into the corn um you know if you ever get a big container of feta cheese at costco Fun fact, you can freeze the whole thing and just kind of break off what you need as you go. Because, you know, you're not going to eat a whole huge thing of feta cheese all at once, right? I mean, it's a nice thought, but usually it doesn't happen. So I'm just saying it freezes well. That's all. Okay, so crumbling up more queso fresco. It's not going to, queso fresco doesn't melt down really well. It's not a melting cheese per se, but it's a really nice creamy um, mild cheese to add into your Mexican dishes. That's all. So this corn was still warm and I, I put the cheese in with it and it did soften it up a little bit. So that's good. And also it's going to help the mayo and the sour cream to really get around all the corn and really make a sauce. So, um, I'm opting to grill my chicken here today. This is me. I'm grilling it. And I have it on high heat. I'm just going for fast and just get it going. So these aren't going to take very long, just a couple minutes per side. I'd say three, three to four minutes per side, I'd say. <clears throat> 
See, it's super hot. Very, very hot. So I'll just, I'll close this, come back inside, and then I am going to um, cut up some cilantro and some red onion. And that's going to go into the bowl with the corn and the mayo and all that stuff. And that's pretty much ready. That's all there is to that. Really easy, but delicious. This, this really impressed me. I was really impressed with this. Okay, and then, you know, blah, 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 chicken's done. I cut it up. And now it is time to dish up. So if you ever make this recipe and you see it, I got it off Pinterest. And the picture on the recipe and Pinterest is looks way better than what I'm doing here. But trust me, it is delicious. So don't go, ooh, you know, I'm not going to make it because hers doesn't look, I know, it's not real pretty, but it is delicious, and it's really great for the summertime. So here comes the chicken thighs. I'm going to put a little pile of black beans, and I'm going to put a little bit more queso fresco on top and a little cilantro, and that is going to be our dinner tonight, and it was really good. I'm still full, and I loved it. I'm going to make it again 10 out of 10. It was good. It was great. You could use shrimp also if you wanted instead of the chicken. That would be really good too. Um, yeah, just good. Here's the beans. That's going to make me uh, a full happy lady. So <laughs> that's it. Look at this. See, it's not real gorgeous, but darn, it's good. So I hope you like this. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys later on this week in some more videos. All right, bye.